Hi, this is Dave, and welcome to the Polaris XL Seaplane Build Series, Part 14. I'm working on a bulkhead right now that goes between the flight controller and the other electronics here, and the batteries. So I'm thinking about a battery tray right in this area, but I need something to keep any water that gets in here from getting to the electronics. So I put this, or about to put this bulkhead in. And uh, I've already pre-cut it so that the wires for the battery can come through. And I may cut some more holes for the video transmitter and camera wires right here. So that's what my bulkhead looks like. Got the notches out for the gunnels and uh, the wires right here for the battery and the two slots for the video and, and uh, camera. So getting ready to glue the bulkhead in with some foam tack. So the bulkhead is now glued in and you can see the wires coming through. I'll probably put some glue around the wires later and make sure I seal up any cracks. And I also, there's a bulkhead hole like this one down in here, so I covered that up too. Just to keep any water from getting in. So, next thing I want to do is glue in the battery tray. And it's going to go about from the edge of that up to the front somewhere here. It's hard to fit it all on camera, but in there somewhere. And then in behind it, I'll probably put a piece of foam with some battery straps going through it to hold the batteries down. Right there, so the batteries will end up right about there and right in front of that firewall right there. Two batteries. I'm going to try to use two 2200s. So that's about where it should go, right on the edge of this, just overlapping a little bit up to the front right there and then this little piece right in behind it and I'll have some battery straps coming through the bottom of this velcro to strap down the batteries I could even use uh, some popsicle sticks or something to reinforce it but uh, that's where it's gonna go okay I just put some of the foam tack glue on the front and the edges here and I'm getting ready to insert it in there. So there it is, it's down in there. Just gonna let that glue tack up a little bit and then I'll finish pressing it down. The uh, bulkhead is right in here. But we won't worry too much about pressing it down yet. Let's just give it a minute, let the glue tack up and then press it down some more, maybe put the batteries on for weight. Okay, letting it dry. So here's my battery straps that I put on the piece of foam. Now I've reinforced it underneath with some carbon fiber rods to keep the straps from pulling through the foam. And that is going to go right in here. So I'm going to glue that in with some of the foam tack. I'm going to do that next. So it goes in like that. And then the batteries of course go right into here and you can strap them down. So I decided to do the rest of the top lid here in three sections. So I got one section here to cover the vector flight controller. And then I have a section up front here where the camera is going to go. Probably mount on top of this section. And then I've got a third section here with the video transmitter. Where I mounted the video transmitter on the bottom. Right there. Antenna going through with an elbow. And uh, this is a 800 milliwatt 1.3 gigahertz transmitter. This part here, I just basically put a heat sink on there. And this is just a scrap heat sink I got off a board, so you may do yours differently. Uh, you'll probably never find one exactly like this. But uh, whatever you can come up with, all you got to do is put a little heat sink compound on the heat sink press the transmitter up against it and then I just uh, glued it on with some foam tack some of that rubber cement and uh, so now it's just on there really good and I intend to cut a square hole for this heat sink to protrude through the fuselage just like that so that's what I got as far as the sections go 
And I'll probably rig up something to make this piece removable so I can get inside and change the batteries. And John made me a waterproof enclosure. He 3D printed a box and put a piece of plexiglass on it. For the 1177, this is the Foxy or HS 1177, and a waterproof 3D printed case. And that'll go on the front, something like that. And you can see over here, uh, you can see the nose of the plane, just a little bit of the nose right there at the bottom. But the picture looks pretty clear, so that looks like that'll work good. All right, I just got done putting the control rod fast connects on right here onto the horns and got everything lined up and tightened the screws down those right there and I'm just testing it so there's the elevator and here are the ailerons I know you can probably only see one of them and then we have the rudder just back here so everything's working. I had to go ahead and reverse the, uh, I think it was the elevator channel and the radio to make it work right. And then I had to run the Learn Wizard, the Vector Flight Controller Learn Wizard. Eagle Tree has it in their manual. You must run that if you make any changes to your radio or anything. So once I ran that, it straightened everything out so that when I'm flying, the stabilization works in the right direction to level the plane. So that's why I ran the, the Learn Wizard. So now the radio works correctly and the flight controller works correctly as far as stabilization. I also added some bracing here to come down from the nacelle down to where the spar is in the main wing right here just to keep that nacelle a little bit steadier. And I also added some bracing right here, carbon fiber rods right here to the vertical stabilizer so that won't flutter at all. So I've got that done. Now continuing on the front, I've got the transmitter here. Battery bay is ready. It's going to be two batteries in parallel, two 2200s, and I've got this little device here from Hobby King that converts it into parallel right there so I can just plug it on and now I'll be working on mounting the FPV camera in the front which is uh, I think I showed you earlier that John had 3D printed me a waterproof box so I'll be working on that next so I'm just laminating the nose I laminated the top side here and now laminating the nose over the top of that and this is some of the 3 mil new stuff from Loft Hobbies. And I put the 1.7 mil on the top here to cover this. So let's laminate. Just laminated the bottom right here. And now I guess got to fold these two sides up and laminate them. So now I'm just removing a little piece of the foam right here. Excuse me, a little piece of the lamination to expose the foam. And then I'm going to put the glue the camera right on like this. And I've got the camera fastened to a little piece of foam here with a tie wrap and a little bit of glue. So then I'll just glue the camera box right there. So there's the camera glued on there and I've got it plugged into my monitor here. So you can see, I'll zoom in here. So you can see just a little bit of the nose in the picture right there, which is the way I like it when I'm flying. So big picture, a little bit of the nose in the bottom. So that'll be good. So I put some latches on the top right here and a little piece of foam right here on the edge. And that'll flip onto there and then I've got latches to hold it down. And then if I'm in the water, I'll put some tape along the cracks here to keep water from getting in but that's it it's pretty much ready to fly just got to put the prop on it and then we'll go test it out
Oh, the wind stopped all together. Nice. Here, play. <laughs>